All right, sorry about that, guys. Apparently, my capture card decided to die on me quickly again, so I had to restart it and fire this back up. So, <laughs> really, even my elect electronics did not want me to cover this bullshit that's about to happen. Ooh, this would be f fantastic. All right, where where I live last time, it's been like 20 minutes since I was playing this. So. We're about to get in some very deep territory. This is happening. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, we just completely spat over the entirety of the Thurokage's legacy in one fell swoop. Because the thing that the Thurokage sacrificed himself to do, make it impossible for Orochimaru to do Jutsu ever again, he is able to do Jutsu if he just fights through the pain somehow. Uh huh. Oh, and it gets better. It gets better. I wouldn't say that. I would not say that. I think you're running a great risk. The ghetto mark confusion is not permanent, truly. The pain is severe. <laughs> Noticed. Did I not say I would endure until my arms heal? The strength of his will is unbelievable. <laughs> He's just incredibly stubborn. Okay. So we just Ito Tensei. Oh. Oh. So, um. Now, to make you all dance to my Mmm. Okay, you know what? Haku and Zabuza, I can understand that reanimation. That, I'm not quarreling too much over that. Or I think it's way too soon to be bringing them back. See the guy? Sitting over there on the right there, you know. You, you, kind of old, grizzled looking. Uh, this is an issue. This is a very big issue. Because um, this one cutscene just annihilated everything the Thurokage sacrificed himself for and what he stood for. Everything is like done now. What? What the fuck? So long as you stay within the leaf village, mm -hmm. there should be no mm. but, but each time I use jutsu, it drains your chakra. Yeah, hell using it once and you like put him on the ground. Your body will grow weaker and weaker. Your very life could be put at risk. <sighs> Need I remind you? I can't afford to be picky about my methods. So is mm, yeah. I am legitimately speechless that like okay, I had to ready myself for this and I'm still fucking speechless as to what to think of it. Lord Orochimaru. Now go. I'm depending on you, Kabuto. So hmm. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can articulate what everything is wrong here. Oh by the way, I just gotta take a quick second to thing. All right, so let me articulate for you what everything here is going wrong. So let's just take this from the top. So the third Okage, um, what was in like that stalemate with Orochimaru trying to steal, steal his entire soul, but he couldn't do it because he was kind of getting stabbed by that giant, by Orochimaru's sword. So instead he opted to just seal Orochimaru's arms with his own soul so that Orochimaru can no longer cast you to and no longer be a threat against the village. Okay, so no biggest noble sacrifice ever. He not only did he seal the first and second Hokage souls, but also uh, sealed Orochimaru's arms souls, so that he can no longer cast Jutsu along with himself. Okay, so we got that noble sacrifice, so that future generations will live on. In that one cutscene, we've just established that a um, 
Apparently, if Orochimaru just fights through the pain, he's able to do jutsu. So, what is that like? Just like anti deterrent, like a deterrent to make him not cast jutsu? Even though there's nothing in his fucking arms, so he should be able to do it. And B, the throw Kage is kind of sealed within, you know, the uh, the Reaper, the fucking Reaper death seal, so that he shouldn't be able to brought back whatsoever. You know, he's kind of like trapped in like the belly of the fucking Grim Reaper, along with his first, second, and fourth Okage, which is the whole reason why the fourth couldn't be brought back to begin with. But now we just brought him back here, even though he's trapped inside of it. So two things that. <laughs> am, am I getting? Am I making sense? It, does this make sense to you guys? The Thor Okage's legacy just got completely shit all over. The, the rules of this show just got shit all over. For like, maybe like two of you who care about the story in this story series. I love. I love the series. Oh, I love the story. I think the story is really good. The backstory, anyway, not like the main stuff. But you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, yeah. The everything. I hate this fucking game. <laughs> I shouldn't be making as big a fuss of it as I am, but I, I'm going to do it. Even someone who's like casual into the series, with like moderate knowledge, would know these things. Or if you just played the earlier part of this game. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Mm. What's more? What's more? Oh no. You were something. Yes. Killed by Kakashi. I thought. So no. It, oh, while, while we're on it, if you're gonna bring back the Thrill Kage. Why not also resurrect the first and the second Hokage to really wreck shit up? Eh. Oh my god, his lemonade tastes horrible. Hmm. I should not be drinking that right now. Oh no. <clears throat> Seem familiar? So you know, the first time I was playing this game, I was about to have a little uh, panic attack because... I was gonna try to take on a hockey with Sakura. What are you doing here? Oh no. You're supposed to be dead. I'm sorry. I must fight you now. Oh no. If you're here, then that explains Sakusa. Hmm. Now prepare yourself. You know you're not being controlled by Rojimaro exactly, so you shouldn't really give a shit. Oh hey, Sasuke. Oh sweet Sasuke, now I can use him. Me. Take me on if you want. <laughs> because <laughs> Sasuke knows he'll actually stand a chance against Haku now. Actually, you know what? With the way Sasuke's Sharingan has developed pretty smoothly since the last time they fought, and Sasuke's crazy Chidori and Tai Chi training, and Curse Mark, I think uh, Sasuke would definitely be able to overwhelm Haku at this point in time. What? But like, just saying. Just in the way. Ouch. Truthfully though, I would actually like to see this fight happen because that would actually be pretty cool. Sakura. What? Be careful. Something's happening to our village. I would not have guessed. Right. I'm not like I was before. <laughs> Literally. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. No emotional conflict whatsoever, but eh, whatever. We'll have all the emotional conflict we need come to Putin. The not so good portion I should put in. I need to make a podcast about that. As a matter of fact, by the time this goes up, I probably have already made that. Okay, what the? Okay, I was a wee bit confused there. Alright, enemies in the fast state, so I actually think that when the opponent's in a uh, fast state, I actually think it's possible that they're actually able to teleport more. So, you know, but considering the the bus I have on Sasuke. That actually makes this not that bad in honesty. Oh, that was that's a good that's a good anti-air for you. And uh oh my god, this audio is so loud. Why? Oh well, whatever. Alright. This is just way too easy. The but they're the button input ones, they're so easy to do. 
And you know, I, I, from what I'm told, and I've, I've tested this already and I've confirmed it, if you like fail at any point during this, you still got the shine on. Well, I'm gonna get the fucking curse mark because fuck this noise. Whatever. Broken shit dot AVI. I'm totally. Oh, also, this is like substitution heaven, too. <laughs> Do you guys even keep up with what's going on anymore? I can't. And I'm the one playing the game. There we go. <laughs> and the Crush Mark is just that awesome. Damn, I love Crush Mark. It's so good. Uh, infinite Chakra, Massive Attack Boost, and what? You only lose a little bit of health? That's fine. If you're able to substitute out of everything, it doesn't even matter. Oh no, you got a little bit of health drain. Well, if you're able to substitute out of everything, then it doesn't matter. Jesus. Or guard. Shit. I didn't even get to show the really cool shit off, too. Eh. Yay. Well, it's good to know this is a point in the series where all you gotta do is beat someone with their EO 10 set and they'll just immediately die instead of later on where you have to seal them or convince them to leave naturally or undo the G2. You know what? <laughs> pretty convenient. And it's pretty good you don't have to EO 10 set every, or you don't have to Reaper Death Steal every single one of them to do it. Oh, here we go. This. Okay, th this fight is just randomly super hard for some reason. It's because Zabuza is a fucking tank. It's crazy. Your moves aren't very sharp today. Yeah, that would do it. Well, you're also undead, and you have. Well, you're also dead, and you have infinite chakra and infinite generation, so whatever. Never thought I'd have to see your ugly face again. Oh, you're gonna see it one more time before the show is over, dude. Orochimaru's reanimation, huh? So that's your game. <laughs> Here it comes. Game time. Leave this one to your favorite handsome white haired toad. Oh, this game is fucking cool now. I, Lord Jiraiya, will be your opponent. And one of my favorite characters in this entire show is ready to use. Oh yeah, against no one of my favorite characters. Awesome. Kakashi, take a seat. I'll wrap this up in a jiff. He totally could too. Like, no joke, if Jiraiya was still alive against the uh, Ito Tensei guys, I think he'd just immediately destroy, like, most of them. Because, fuck yeah. Alright, game time. Uh, this one's actually pretty rough, and it's because... Unlike the speed boost, which would actually be not that bad, uh, Jiraiya's attacks are all over the place. And this is not a good stage to be using Jirai on, because chances are very good he's going to fall off the stage, or some other some such. Or just completely miss like that. So yeah, my recommendation is actually try to be a little persistent with the throwing with Jiraiya. Also, I'm it's actually pretty hard to substitute against Zabuza. And for not reasons you'd expect either, because you would think that, oh, well, he's probably hard to tell we're against because he, he's fast. No, he's actually hard to tell we're against because he's slow. Like the tell. It's weird because I want to think that fast characters or slow characters would be hard to tell we're against because they're slow. Nah, they're slow, they're hard to do it against because you're used to like fast characters or like decently fast characters. Alright, I need to get some items right now. There we go. I need to shut his ass down. Also, Zabuza on top of his crazy attack and well, you know, he's already got godly attack anyway. He's also, got, uh, he's also got defense, and he's able to substitute a lot, and Jiraiya's attacks do not really suit the stage very well. So yeah, this, stage, this fight's just a mess. Also, you can't substitute when your chakra shields, that's a problem. Oh shit. Let's throw him. Eh. There we go, seal's gone. If nothing else, I'd recommend trying to go for your level 3 as soon as possible, because it actually... It's an anti air super. And on this stage, that's awesome. Yeah, let's not play this game, shall we? Denied. Oh my god, look how little damage I did. Ow. Fuck. I ran out of that. 
death frame advantage though, which allowed him to do that. No. Ah. Fuck. Come on. Oh. Duh. I'm quickly losing ground here. All oh, because he's able to substitute all the time, and I can't do anything about it really. That does some okay chip damage, but I don't know. I haven't really found any cool things for it yet. There we go. Best you two. Best you two. Yeah, I'm doing your shit today. Hmm. Okay. He's on the ground. Able to get take some hits. Oh, that's cool. He's not like toss him far away, so you can just like do pretty much whatever you want afterwards. I'm more than match chakra now. Just run away. Hmm. Okay. I'll admit, the first time I fought Zabuza with Dryad, that fight gave me a lot of problems. Mostly from the defense buff and uh, the awkward speed and making it hard to substitute and uh, well, yeah, the stage being it. It, it, and Zabuza hitting like a motherfucker too. Makes that a little tricky. You know, just a little. So yeah, that's Zabuza dealt with. Yay. You can see that. Look at the rest of who? Hawkers are done. Kakashi, let's go. Hmm. Right. You know, it's amazing that. Uh, wow, I'm actually impressed that Zabuza was actually able to keep up or not able to one shot Kakashi since, you know, Sharingan kind of helps in that situation. But anyway, Sakura's fight. Oh. Oh, goody. My favorite. 